Author Scott White is on a mission to make the world a happier place, one smile at a time. With his endless energy, he motivates and inspires everyone he meets to focus on happiness, gratefulness, and positivity. Joining me is Scott White to tell us about his book, The Life is Too Short Guy, which is pretty cool. Good morning, Scott. How are you? Fantastic. Good morning. So, All right, let's talk about this book because I picked it up uh, over the weekend, uh, started reading a little bit, and it just really changed my attitude. And is that why you decided to write this book? That's exactly why I decided to write this book. I've long been a very positive, happy, energized person. And, and over sort of the course of COVID and the post-COVID world, as I looked around and I saw so much negativity, I saw so much pessimism. So you know what? I'm going to try to bottle some of that energy up and share it through this book. And as you said, I'm on a mission to make the world happier, one smile at a time. Yeah, and there's some things you, you talk about in the book that are very easy to do. And that's one, waking up. That was easy. Everyone doesn't realize you wake up and guess what? Your day is is starting off great because you're alive. <laughs> That's exactly right. So one of the easiest, you know, when I wrote the book, I wanted it to be very practical, approachable, easy to understand and easy to implement. This isn't sort of change everything in your life. And as you just pointed out, the easiest thing you could do is what is your first thought of the day? Be very deliberate, be very proactive, smile and realize, be grateful as you wake up. And then you have a clear, happy lens for the rest of the day. Where'd all this come from? What made you want to go on this kind of path? You know, it evolved over the course of my life. There wasn't one specific moment where all of a sudden the, I was like, I'm the life is too short guy. I, I, it evolved, as I said, I was very happy, very energetic. About two years ago, someone actually coined the phrase, someone I was meeting with was like, dude, you're like Mr. Life is too short guy. Rah, rah, happiness, positivity, get it done, urgency. And, and I was like, you know what? That is a great descriptor, and wow, that would be a great way to write a book and share this happiness and positivity with the world. Yeah, I, I love it. And again, I, here goes the book right here. It's an easy read for people uh, to do. You could do it in a weekend. You could do it just in pieces here and there. And so let's talk about some other ways of being happy. And of course, putting a smile on other people's face, because that's also one thing about living a life uh, that's good for you. No doubt. Look, the book is laid out with 10 specific principles. So I call them the life is too short guy or lit sig principles. The, the foundational one, the very first one is attitude is everything, the power of positivity. And I talk about how much of your own attitude and perspective you control. I then go on to talk about things like minutes matter, funny things are everywhere, passion, learning. These are all concepts and principles that I illustrate with some of my own life stories, but even more interesting, I illustrate with the life stories of other people that have had major aha moments. Yeah, what I love too is that there's no money talked about really in the book because money isn't what's gonna make everyone happy. And that's something that you kind of like explain uh, throughout this, what I think is neat. Yeah, so we as a society have this general sort of formula in mind where we work really hard to achieve success, however you define success, to make us happy. But that's wrong because all that happens is we work hard to achieve success, to redefine success, to push the goalpost, to redefine success and not reach happiness. So flip it around and start by waking up today happy, by approaching your life, your work, your passion, your dreams, whatever it is, with a positive attitude, that will lead to success. However you define it, which may or may not include money. To your point, money doesn't drive happiness. Yeah, it, it does. It. And again, this book is so awesome. Uh, it's something that people can do, like I said, in pieces all together and stuff. But I love, Scott, is that you're sharing it with the world. And like you said, you're ready to change the world with a smile like we do with our show here. And, and that's the main focus here. No doubt. I really am on a mission to make the world happier one smile at a time. I would love for people to read this book, spread these principles. I'm out on a speaking tour this year. I'll be touring the country. I'd love to, to, to meet as many people as I can to share these principles. If nothing else, if one person, one person listening to this smiles for a few seconds and has a better day, bam, that's success for me. And if we can multiply that, wow, we can live in a happier world. I love it. It is the uh, Life's Too Short Guy book, and Scott White is the life's too short guy right there. Tell them where they can find the book and, uh, and of course your speaking engagements. So the book is available on Amazon and barnesandnoble.com or wherever you buy your books. Go into your local retail store. If they don't have it, they can order it for you or you could visit me on my website, lifeistoshortguy.com to order the book or to engage me for speaking engagements. So lots of opportunities. I like it, Scott. Thank you very much for joining us this morning and I'm looking to uh, live my life short but uh, happy. <laughs> Have a wonderful day.